Welcome to your weekly technology segment from the NASDAQ Market Site. The summer solstice is the longest day of the year. Some people visited Stonehenge to celebrate, while others considered sunny getaways. Now, vacation time means travel, and that may include some air travel. For those of you who fly the friendly skies, restrictions on air electronic devices on airplanes are not usually greeted with a smile. Now, many of us have had a hard time removing our firm grasp on smartphones and tablets, and it's not easy to switch off our devices and peel ourselves away from email, social media, or games. Now, the FAA has granted an industry working group more more time to research electronics and their effects on uh, airplanes. The two-month extension will allow the advisory group more time to complete the work necessary for a proper assessment. Current FAA guidelines call for passengers to shut off electronic devices, including phones, tablets, e-readers for takeoff and landing. But at the same time, it does permit other devices, such as audio recorders, during all phases of the airplane's journey. The working group researching uh, the use of electronics on airplanes was created last year. This group will not only determine electronic safety on airplanes, but it will also ensure that any regulations that are announced by the FAA will also apply to devices and technologies that are not even on the market yet. This may become even more relevant with uh, people wearing technology on our bodies, including fitness monitors, Google Glasses, and many gadgets that are only currently in the works. And speaking of flying, in-flight Wi-Fi provider GoGo marked its market debut here at the NASDAQ market site on Friday. Now, 11 million shares were priced at $17 a share, the higher end of the expected range, valuing the company at nearly $1.5 billion. GoGo began trading under ticker symbol GOGO. Now, GoGo saw some turbulence as it marked its debut at a volatile time for the markets. Uh, the equity averages weathered a brutal storm this week, posting its worst one-day sell-off of the year on Thursday. There are questions about uh, profitability for GoGo after last year's performance, and this does come amidst an increasingly competitive marketplace where there are concerns about growth in a limited market. And last but not least, Leap Motion now has its own VC fund. Highline Capital Partners allocated $25 million for the Leap Fund. The San Francisco-based startup Leap Motion is behind the 3D motion control and sensing technology. The controller itself creates a 3D space above the device, and with the interaction as well as combination of software Software and hardware, the controller senses the movements of hands and fingers, so that means user can, users can interact with a computer. The initiative will help support companies and entrepreneurs seeking to help populate the ecosystem for Leap controllers. This pot of gold will also go towards underwriting apps for the exciting technology. Highland Capital Partners and Leap Motion also plan to participate in joint community activities that will help boost innovation for the Leap platform. This controller will be coming out later this summer. The company signed and uh, deals with HP as well as Asus to have the 3D technology embedded or bundled up in its projects. And it does uh, wrap it up for this week's technology segment from the NASDAQ market site. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your weekend.